Hey, good. We got a few more minutes. Let's um, we talk about claims, maybe. Sure, sure. We're there. I, I wanted to kind of give you a report on uh, on what I went through. I didn't get the claims till today. Uh, these these guys went on a vacation last <laughs> week. I don't know. Went to the beach somewhere. So I got claims this morning. I was in here right away going through them. Um, I did want to say in regard to mileage, uh, I, I, I do appreciate once again the uh, um, April got mileage for a, a conference she went to and there was the old map quest attached right to it and I very much appreciate that. Um, on page two, uh, and I know there's no sense bannering this until we get the get the extension service here but if you look up at the first five or six mm -hmm. items uh, once again we've got five hundred fifty dollars to produce the the educator magazine and two hundred and forty six dollars to mail it out so that's um, seven hundred over seven hundred almost eight hundred dollars to to produce that document and I know you you looked at can we? And I don't know the answer, so. Um, we got other bills also on. Um, Adams Rumco was it was our final bill, and we had another overage for the extension office at over two thousand dollars. Wow. And our whole budget for the county is going to be <coughs> three thirty-eight hundred. Something. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. That's every, every All right. Well, this just brings up that we need them to come in. I, uh, I then got uh, uh, looked through the mileage claims for three people. Uh, the mileage claims came to five hundred and eighty-four dollars. Uh, here again, I'm not going to draw a conclusion. I'm just telling you they 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 take mileage from their office to the 4-H grounds and back. Albeit they take a mile each way. It's not not like they're killing us, but it's just it seems odd to me that. That we're paying for them to be on basically their own turf, um, <clears throat> and then um, the, the the planning commission member took mileage to the planning commission meetings out there as well. So uh, it's just funny things you see that you just can't. It's unexplainable. So uh, their total charges this this month was was only like fifteen hundred. Almost sixteen hundred dollars, but they just our our expenses. I think we need to talk to them about. We just paid them thirty-nine thousand dollars. Well, that's the biggest reason we ask them to come in because we got a we got a bill for professional fees for thirty-nine thousand, and we have absolutely no idea what the heck is that all about. So, um, at the bottom of that same page, I thought you might find it might find it interesting, and I I, I am not I, I, the uh, attorney fee at the bottom of page two. That, uh, that is essentially wind ordinance. Mm -hmm. And it's all very well documented and all that. I'm not, I'm not arguing about that. I'm not arguing about the price or anything. It's just that's what, that's what it cost us in legal fee for, for uh, the wind ordinance issue. So it's at the planning commission level. Um, page three was we, we are paying uh, the Otis Bowen their first half of, of this year, $86,000. Um, there was a, a, a tort claim, which is it's sounding like it's pretty old down there, the, the $392 thing. A, a gentleman by the name of Dean Bunting, we had to pay him $392. Apparently, it's a deductible thing again. So uh, you guys are going to talk about the $25,000 fee. That's just postage. That's why we put postage on. So, so it has nothing to do with our contract. Okay. With How? What time period are you talking? Twenty-five thousand. Yeah. Probably about a quarter. We went a little bit longer than a quarter. Yeah. Twenty-five thousand. Yeah. So almost a hundred thousand a year, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. It'll last longer than that. You know, okay. it's in the May. So that's about a half. Page five, um, 
There was a, a and I know, I'm not sure why we went out of county to get a defense attorney, but but we're paying on, on page five down, uh, there's a, a bill in the amount of $3,688. Here's, here's what I found interesting, because I'm telling you, they did a great job of documentation. They documented minute by minute, but, <laughs> but it starts out, it starts out to defend this guy, but it ends up that's his plea guilty. So, so we got to pay 36, almost $3,700 just for the person to plead guilty. Um, There was, uh, in the firearms fund, there was cable for the shooting range, $4,000. It's page seven, just down on an inch or so from the top, uh, top line. Um, that's what the bill, so from Shambo and Son, cable for shooting range. I'm just not sure what shooting range that, that might be, if that's that. I think that's ISP one. one. Yeah, the yeah, ISP. Okay, I was just wondering the other day if we were going anywhere on that whole project. I hadn't heard anymore. Remember, they were going to take the donate, my understanding, they were going to take the donated um, things from the electrical and I assume the cables to tie them all together to make the. It's noise suppression. Yeah, whatever. That was. Okay. Noise. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. Um, I guess those are those are the only things I really came up with for the claims. This time. You see something different? Yeah, yeah. I had a question on SDS. We just got a bill for, for 2272. Right. Is that the uh, cell phone booster from downstairs? Yep. Mm -hmm. Seven on the top, Nancy. Uh, we have a coordinator wages. Um, uh, drug free Indiana. What's Nancy? Nancy, Nancy Cricket. Yeah. Uh, drug free. I, I, I looked at that one. It looked. I didn't. I didn't see. I, I didn't notice the. I did not notice then the reimbursement for twelve student lunches. So I. I, I did not. I didn't remember seeing that on the claim, but I looked at the claim. It is from Drug Free Indiana money. Not that it makes any difference, it's still our tax money, but. I think that's. Okay. To entertain a motion to approve the register. So moved. Motion. Second. The motion is second. Discussion. Hearing none. All those in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, same sign. Thank you. So are you guys ready to go? Debbie Beers, Jim McGuire, and Matt Peterson. I don't see any. Oh, Matt's here. I didn't Matt. even see him walk in. Yeah. I don't see Debbie. 